back to my YouTube channel, it's Dawn here. So today I'm with you because I thought um, we could make a little book. Now you can use this book in anything you want. It can be a photo album. I've made some, which I will show you. Um, oh, I've already tried to record it once. Um, yeah, so I've already made these books. Um, I have done them in black cardstock, but unfortunately I've run out of black cardstock, so we're using craft. Um, this one was made using 6x12 papers um, and I've matted and laid them and as you can see there's no sewing, no anything but I'm going to turn these into like a, um, a spa book so inside it'll have like face masks in, probably put some vouchers in for um, like to go to boots or you know like somewhere where you can get some spa things um, see if I can get flat, whatever I can get flat to put in them. Um, so yeah, so that's what I thought. But I thought, you know what, they'd be really good for um, photo albums, for um, to hold things in. Um, yeah, just for anything really. So I've got the measurements here. So this is how we're going to do it. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, so for each of my pages, my pages are going to be one and a quarter. So all of the page size is going to be one and a quarter. And as you can see on the other side, it's one and a quarter. So that's going to determine my page. And this is so that you, you do it right. Then on the spine, the spine goes down by quarter of an inch. So on our first layer, it is one and one quarter. Our second layer is one inch. Our third layer is three and a quarter. Our fourth layer is half an inch. And our fifth layer is going to be one quarter of an inch. So what I tend to do and what I find easiest, first of all, make sure your paper is straight because that's why I've had the the issue with the trying to do the last one um, so I am just gonna go on five and a quarter and I'm gonna score like so and then I'm gonna go um, and I want to do right, I'm gonna go a six and a quarter add a quarter and there's one and a half uh, one and a quarter inches so I've added that one and a quarter inches on so that's my spine I then want five and a quarter, so um, actually while I'm doing this I can put which way you score at, so page one, score, oh, um, so five and a quarter, um, six and a half, and then um, we want to add one, two, three, four, five and a quarter, actually that keeps it about right. Yeah, so that page is right. So we're not going to cut anything off of this one um, because the pages are all perfect. So your first sheet will be fine. So this is a UK, um, a UK A4 sheet of cards. So if you are in the US or um, your your A4 card is different to the UK's card, then I highly suggest using. Um, 12 by 12 sheet of paper if you're going to follow the same measurements now the width of this is actually is eight and a quarter so my page length is eight and a quarter so that's the first layer so our second layer so i'm going to get another piece of card we're going to score at five and a quarter like so we're then going to add on an inch, so we're going to score at, because um, we want the spine at an inch, so we're going to score at six and a quarter, so put that in there like that, so let me write on here, so that's page one, I will write this somewhere where you can see it, page two is five and a quarter, um, six and a quarter, and then we want five and a quarter on, so um, one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to then score at 11 and a half. And that bit that's here, so this bit, I'm only scoring it so I know. So this bit here, we are going to cut off. So that is um, number two. So we can actually put on the spine what order they are in if it helps. So just like that. And I'm going to put that on there. You just want to burnish your um your folds so like so um and i will come and cut that bit off in a moment um the next page um so next page again we're going to start off at a five and a quarter now this time we want to score um for the um the spine we want three quarters of an inch so that'll take us up to six inches so 
I'm just, oh, I forgot to put that's 11 and a half. So I need, why is it, I need a piece of paper, a big piece of paper. Why is it when you want a piece of paper, you never have a piece around? Um, actually, let me just go in the scrap box because I'm sure we've got stuff in there. Right. Just so that I can write these down and then you guys can actually write this down as well. So page one, it score at five and one quarter, six and a half, and that's it. So that's um, page one. So page two is score at five and a quarter and not five and a half, yeah, five and a quarter, six and a quarter, and then um, cut down to 11 and a half inches. So now we're on page three. So we'll be doing five and a quarter, um, scoring at six, and then cut down to 11 and a quarter. So that's page three, that's what we're doing with page three. You're going out? Okay. Lucy's going with you? Okay. You can speak, you know. No, still refusing? Yeah, that's the husband, he's going out. <laughs> so page four, again, score at five and one quarter, then at five and three quarters. And then we're going to cut down to 11 inches. And then our last page, we score at five and a quarter, five and a half. And then we cut down at, um, we cut down to 10 and three quarters. So that is our measurements. So that's the measurements that I'm going to just have to do it that way so they fit in. So if you want to pause the camera here, I'll leave it up just for a second for you. And um, those are the measurements. So if you want to write those measurements down, you go for it. Um, yeah. So, um, so we're on page three, aren't we? Um, so page three, um, I'm just going to score it at 11 and a quarter and then I know that this bit needs um, scribbling so that's page three so let's just burnish that and then let's just burnish that and then I'm just going to pop that inside the other two right let's get the next one so this is page four so page four is these are not straight I didn't think they were they're not actually straight. The paper hasn't been cut straight. That is so annoying. Right, anyway, five and a quarter. So I'm going to score there. Um, so we're on page four, aren't we? Yes, yeah, so page four. And then we're going to score at five and three quarters, like so. And then I'm going to score at, yeah, this really isn't straight. This is so annoying. Um, right. Yeah, this is really, really annoying. Like, really annoying. Um, and we're going to cut it down to 11. So that's there. That is so frustrating. Right, okay. So, like I said, I've just took them out of the packet because there's the, the thing. Um, yeah, and the reason why I didn't do the other ones because it wasn't, I hadn't scored it straight. And it turns out the paper's not straight. So it wasn't me after all. So not all of them are straight. Right, okay, next one, um, let's do five and a quarter, like so, and we're going to then score at five and a half, and then I'm going to score at ten and three quarters, and then that bit I know that I need to cut down. So let's get rid of my um, score tool. Okay. And what I'm going to do is, it'd probably be easier if I use my trimmer for this, but yeah, I'm not. I'm just going to use my scissors. Just going to cut those bits off and make sure these are burnished. Are you going to do daddy daughter thing? Is that what you're shouting the rover for? They're in the kitchen, they're about to do daddy daughter thing, which is normally, yeah. Oh, Lucy's not joining me, so she's awesome. 
but um, I, I think I'll point the camera to him. <laughs> no, better not. I'd yeah, yeah, scare all my subscribers away. <laughs> there you go. He actually spoke. I know. I know. <laughs> Bye, have fun. Okay, so we're just going to cut this down as well. Oh, that is terrible, but that's fine. We can sort that, so that's going to go in there. Um, so, yeah, just trim all your A4 bits down. So, like I said, if you are in the US or you are um, and you don't have this, or anywhere, I'm, I'm not sure if it's just us that have this size A4 or if there's um, anywhere else has this size A4, but um, just, yeah, um, it's eight and a quarter um, in height, but you can have it any height you want. Or just um, adjust the measurements um, to make them work for you. Right, okay, so that's them. So as you can see, all the spines are different. So what I tend to do now is I'm gonna open this up nice and flat, and I'm gonna get the next one, and I'm just gonna stand it up like that, grab my glue, and then I'm just going to put my glue all the way oh, along these edges and in the middle. I'm just going to get rid of that. And then we're going to line it up so that we have one eighth of an inch on each side of our um, folds, like so. Um, I'm just going to push it up just to make sure that's right. Then I'm going to grab my bone folder and this is where I burnish my um, yeah, my pages down. Um, I just find it easier to burnish them down at this point um, because then I know that they're going to be um, put solid. So that is the first pages down and again just double checking. Now the glue that I am using it works quite quickly, um, it is Nouveau glue, um, same as the art glitter glue. If you wanted you could use um, red liner tape that works just as well or even just normal regular um, tape I think that would work um, but I think you're best off maybe yeah, using something that has a bit more, like um, that's a bit stronger. Me personally, um, I love to use um, wet glue and things like this because it gives you that drying time. So we're going to do that to each layer and I just sort of push it down and then I look to the side, make sure one side's done, make sure the other side's done, lift it up, press it down because it's still got that time to move and I've just noticed it's bigger on one side so I'll do that again and normally you can see just how far each side is um, when you alight and it, that looks fine to me we're then just going to burnish our folds um, like so so that's one and then we're going to burnish the other one so that is three pages in so far Okay, so let's get the second one. So again, I'm just going to stand that up there. We're going to pop um, glue all the way along. Okay, and down the centre. So make sure there's plenty on. And I'm going to keep doing this right till the end. So I sort of go to the middle and then I check one side, check the other side. Um, and this is where I would definitely, why I would recommend using liquid glue because you've got the t like the amount of time that you need. So I've just pushed that down, and by pushing it down, it gives you a really good for you as well. Actually, that moved on the way down because it would, wouldn't it? Um, but you've got that wiggle room, and you do need that wiggle room. I, I think with this, so that's nice and neat. So again, I'm just going to burnish this down. Um, just making sure that we are good to go and then um, let's do the side yep. oh. right okay so and there we have it and I'm just going to go along the spine right 
last one so as you can see it's an itty bitty spine um, so I'm just going to pop some glue down I find this one the hardest to do um, because you really don't have much room to manoeuvre but once it's on and you've got actually I'm saying that and then that went quite that went quite right um, so yeah it is the one that I find the hardest I tend to have a look just at one side um, and get that one side right then I, br I bring it up push it down just double check if I need to do any adjustments then I do the adjustments there and, we just need, and then we push it down again and that just ensures everything's together there so that is that um, and then we're just going to get these and I'm going to burnish my fold lines down so there's one side and then bring in the other side um, like so and burnish this one down as well and try and burnish it as well as we can get it now that needs moving over slightly that has come has moved like you say the middle one's the one that I find the hardest to get completely right because you need one eighth of an inch on either side of that fold and that is actually perfect so then when you close it up that is what you've got how cool is that that is so cool isn't it right okay so I'm just going to move these few bits out of the way um, and I think while I've got you guys with me um, I think we should get some 12 by 12 and um, yeah decorate it up what do you guys think i think it's just a shame just to come on just to show you how to do it and then let's not do anything with it so let's um yeah let's make it all pretty so i'm actually going to use a recent paper pad that i've just bought um which is this one and it's botanical gardens so i'm loving the colors of them and actually we've got that which we can chop up and it be in now um, I'm loving absolutely loving that blue so I'm making that and there's the dogs right there's a cat just gone by it's the only reason lady barks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some pages out and sort them out and be back so I'm back right um, I've already done quite a few of the layers already this is the last one um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down um, my pieces for the cards um, I do use the 12 by 12 papers um, just because I think they, they work out to be quite a nice size so I'm cutting it down to 8 by 5 but what I tend to do is I cut um, down to 8 then I'll turn it I take 2 inches off and then I cut it down to 5 I just find that that um, saves me time so my matted layers um, so my layers for inside the book um, and on the outside are um, 5 by eight and that gives me one eighth of an inch all the way around so I have done that so I'm finished with this now I can just I can take over and use my other trimmer I have got all the bits left over from the cardstock that's that's within here so that we can use this in which to decorate it or put our pockets and other bits and pieces that we would like to do with it so yeah right okay so this is going to be my cover um, and it is together so this is going to be the back this is going to be the front I'm actually going to leave my spine on this one on the ones that I did previously I have a uh, paper on the spine but I actually didn't want any on this one so we're not going to so what I'm going to do is I'm just actually going to go along and um, yeah now put glue on and stick it down now you can do if you wanted you can actually go ahead and round your corners um, it does make them look pretty I think some of them do have rounded corners the ones that I've got um, but yeah it's it's all personal preference now to how um, you decorate it but I just thought you know we've made this on camera together so I hope you do have a go and then I'm hoping this gives you a few ideas on how to decorate it and how um, how to use it as well so that is my front and my back cover done now in each side I already have my pieces so these are going to go on I have some plain I have some with flowers on I have some without um, I am going to grab some 
white cardstock out of my stash and I'm thinking of just grabbing some pearlized one or either the pearlized one or I've got like a weave one um, so I can put bits on just so that people can, whoever uses this, they can write in it if they would like um, because the, this um, paper pad, as much as much as it is absolutely gorgeous, um, all the pages are really dark so and I think if you're making like a book like this you want people to be able to actually write in it. Um, you could fill this up with um or oh, what you call it um uh, waterfalls you can put in flips folds pockets you name it honestly there is so much you can do with this so just because of what i'm doing today it is going to be very basic what i'm doing today just so the video isn't super long um but yeah, there's so much that you can actually do with these. And, you know, the recipient, um, or even if you keep it for yourself, you know, it's going to love it for years to come. And I just think it's it definitely a really nice, um, oh, do I want that side? Or do we want the other side? Oh, I'm going to have it that side because I really like that. Um, so, yeah. So it is entirely up to you guys how um, it is used and or how the recipient uses it. I just thought it was quite a nice little idea sort of doing, you know, a present in a book. Um, so I, I do need to go shopping and have a look at flat things that we can put in. So Because I know you can get like shampoos and stuff, can't you, in like a little um, sort of... Uh, pouch thing so yeah I just thought it'd be quite nice to do that with them right okay so loving these have to admit looking absolutely fabulous so once it once you've done them and once you've done your first couple and you get used to the markings you get used to sticking it on um, you honestly you are going to love it and they come together so quickly um, they're just absolutely fab to use um, and yeah I just love them but you could even do it as a diary oh that might be something this one's going to have flowers on so you could actually turn this into a diary um, and just put like the days in um, all you would do is with the spine just increase the day uh, just increase the spine every quarter of an inch you will have to use 12 by 12 papers for that but there's no reason why you couldn't it would be a thick diary but you could so also put like you know like um, a treat in for each month oh that would be awesome actually I don't think you do how, let's see, count how many pages we've got all together because I've never actually counted it I think you'd only have to add one more layer to it so two four six eight ten yeah so yeah you're only going to have to add one more layer to make a diary because each page could ha could be um a, a month so you'd have your little diary there like your little month there a little pocket and you can put like say like a hot chocolate in or a tea bag in or something for that month i like that idea i think that's another um another book sorted out for me for um i'm gonna go this side um yeah for a present for christmas so um, I am thinking about Christmas now and it's only because I have so much to make. Um, it's not that I have to make it but I want to. I like to gift out um, a handmade pres present to um, everyone for Christmas. So yeah, I've always liked doing that. I just think it just means so much more. Um, I do buy stuff for people as well but um, I do think that um, it's nice to hand out some things that I have actually made as well. So I tend to start thinking about them now. Right. Um, okay. So we are nearly done. Oh, I like that. Do you know what? I'm liking the diary idea with this one. I really, really am liking the idea. And I think I even have a stamp set so we can actually do our own for next year. And I think it would be absolutely gorgeous. And I think that I could go and get different hot chocolates and things in the pouches and pop them in the pockets, along with a little pack of Harry Bar sweets. And that and that's like the monthly tre treat. And it's it's like um oh that one doesn't want to go there. Ah no, we'll have blue. Um, and it'll be just like a monthly treat. Oh how nice would that be? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. 
um, because they just still have lovely. Oh, it'd be so nice. And they, yeah. And then every month in the year, um, it's like their little Christmas present just keeps on giving. So that's what this one is going to be. Um, I just think that's going to be a lovely. Um, and another perfect person to give it to as well. So, right, okay, just gonna pop this on. But like I say, once once you make um, these, um, once you make the books, um, you do get quicker at them because you tend to do like, um, you sort of do all the cutting that you need to do um, in one go then you'll do all the sticking so like I'm doing this now I'm sticking it all in one go um, yeah so I do need that means oh, I can't do a, a one with this one oh, because I haven't got another cover on it and I've already put the cover bit on so no we can't do a, a diary one with this which is such a shame because that would have looked fabulous so I need to think of something else. So this is it so far. So um, we've got our pages and they are looking fabulous. I'm actually, I am loving these pages. These pages look amazing. Um, so that's what we have so far. So what I want to do is, um, let's get the white card stuff out. Actually, no, I'm gonna use cream. Don't, it's cream is not no I want white I was gonna say cream is not a color that I tend to use much of so we are in fact going to use white now I'm wondering do I want to go with my pearlized or oh I've got um grid there or do we want to go with the weave or do we do both I do three sheets. If I get three sheets of each out, then that should be enough for like the three sheets should be enough for each page. Um, there's actually four there. Okay, so let's try this. Um, because like I said, this is going to be for for writing, so I don't need that now. So let's put it away. And Quincy's really getting on my nerves. He. Every time I stand up, he runs as if I'm going to do something. So, um, what am I doing? Oh yes, I need my my trimmer. So let's grab that out. So for each page, I want a little box on um, that we can either decorate or for the recipient to. Um, let's not pearlize paper. That's just normal paper. So I'm thinking. Let's do three and a half um, by three and a half. So, yeah, I think that works out perfectly. So I need ten of them, and if we've got enough to do ten of them out of the the um, pearlized, we're going to just stick with the pearlized. So three and a half. Um, Three and a half, so that is that's four. Yeah, we're gonna have enough because um, I can get six out of each sheet, so that's really good to know. So, and I think I'll round the corners to these as well, just to make them just look that little bit softer. Um, so three and a half, and then. And a half. I think I need two more and then we're, we're done. So let's do the last two and then I'll get my um, corner punch out and we'll punch up all of the corners. Okay, like that. Um, I'm just going to pop these off to the side because I think we'll, we may need them. But yeah, um, I think I'm definitely going to go with the shimmer cardstock because that just looks like a lot prettier. Um, so I get my punch and we're just going to round the corners um, like so. Um, I just think it's just going to make it look a little bit softer. A lot. Um, I also like it that now. Yeah, let's do this. 
Okay. And then I'm going to have... So it's all going to be very much the same. Which... Right, let's see, because I don't think I'm going to do it to every page. Let's let's do each page as we sort of come to it, because, um, yeah, I'm thinking, that, do I really want it all sort of the same? So we can do that there. Now, I want a pocket, so I'm liking that. So let's cut this down to five. Okay. Right, and then I'm just going to take, so this measures four, so I'm going to do this at three. Okay, and then oh, everything's gonna fall off if I take that out. Okay, so that's and then we have that there, which is our first sort of pocket. So that'll be our first page. So I think do I want that or oh, I know I think that side actually that just goes a bit nicer. So um, I'm just gonna put glue on the two sides and it along the bottom so that gives us our actually I think that might be upside down yeah that's upside down so we're gonna have to wait for that glue to dry oh that was a bit silly of me wasn't it that was very silly of me what about if I just yeah we should be all right because I've sort of wiped that off so yeah we should be okay right let's have a look I had it the right way. Right, I'm just going to stick that down. Okay, I'm just going to grab this little bit. I'm just going to pop that in and make sure that doesn't close. Right, like that. So that's our first pocket. And then for decoration, um, I want some scissors. I'm just going to cut them and put these out okay move them because we can use some of those as well but I just want to add some of these on um, just for decoration uh, purposes so yeah and I'm, I am going to leave a border because these are super super fiddly to, to do without a border so so yeah Okay, so I'm just going to go round like so, and then like that, because I, I, I like the idea of just having just something um, just on that white bit, because it is very, very white, it's a bit too white actually, um, but yeah, I just know I wouldn't have liked cream, and I didn't really want to add another colour to it. I could have added like um, a blue or something but yeah. Oh, something like that. Um, let's see what these look like. So, because it might be that I don't want those blue ones. What, just this one itself will do. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, all the way around. Like this. So how is everybody been? How is it all going? I hope you're all safe and well. Um, yeah, because yeah. oh yeah. So straight away, that's that's just gorgeous. So I'm wondering whether or not to have it like that. Um, just to bring that blue in. Oh, do you know what? I just want to add the. I'm just going to add the blue on. Yeah, I'm just going to add one bit on onto there. And what I'm going to do is um, move my trimmer and my other little bits and get in this drawer. Um, made a blue pen. So I have this blue pen. I don't know what colour it is. Actually, it goes quite nice. So this is a Faber-Castell uh, pit pen. And we're just going to do a border just to break up that, that white. It's just too, yeah, too white. Oh, see? That looks lovely. 
Looks so pretty. Um, do I have? Okay, I'm just having a look because I'm sure that I had um a blue glitter gel pen. But what I've done is I've actually oh there it is. I've actually put all of my so I'm going to add some glitter gel pen on as well. Um, just so there's like two tones on there. So why not? Oh, like so. Oh, I like that. I really like that. Now, I don't know if this is going to show up, but I want to pop sort of a border on. And this has glitter in, so when you look, it's got like a little sort of shine to it um, and glitter to it. So I just think it is gorgeous. So, yeah, so even though the paper is quite dark, it is actually um it is showing up quite nice it just shows up like a glitter edge so i quite like that so that's really nice so that's the first page and then we've obviously got that pocket there um what i'm gonna do is um actually put this out um so this will be my um yeah the journaling card to pop it in that pocket so that is the first page all done okay and that's just going to sit in there like that now on this page i have no idea what to do um i'm wondering whether to do like a belly band and we have something sort of tucked in so i could turn that into like a journaling card maybe um, hmm. or we could just leave it blank I don't know I don't know at all actually you know what I have an idea um, so I'm going to cut this down to four okay it might actually be less than that right so yeah, I'm going to cut it down to three and three quarters because would you believe that this stuff is not straight? Because um, I'm thinking just there like that. So it's in somewhere else to sort of write on and then have that there. So yeah, I like that. Right, I'm not going to round these. I'm just going to leave them. Oh, so it's just thrown itself. So I'm going to stick that on there like that. So it's got so it looks like a Polaroid. So it's just somewhere for you know for you to put your um, your photo. Um, I was going to leave it as a pocket, but yeah, I put glue on the wrong side because it could have been a, po a side pocket as well. But never mind. Right. Okay. So there's that, and then. Um, I think what do I have do I have any I know I have we have this book of stickers so let's see what's in here that we can put on oh it's the left is the numbers that's letters oh P Q R S T. I think these are all letters at the back yeah um, but I'm thinking I want numbers e a, B, C, D, um, I don't think they do, that's not helpful, because I'm thinking I could put numbers throughout, yeah, oh, I hate it when it does that, so when you look in, it just sort of, oh, butterflies, um, I think that might be nice to add, this book is just absolutely gorgeous, it's something I don't really use a lot of, because it's one of those where, I think I'm just going to hard it but I need to tell myself use these things because you can always buy more so that's what I'm going to start telling myself use it you can always buy more right okay so it looks as though there is no numbers in this one which is absolutely typical however we have got beautiful butterflies um I like this big green one 
but I don't know how how well it's gonna go oh actually that looks gorgeous so yeah there we go so I'm gonna leave that one that page as is so yeah that I love so you can write under there still and then you can put a photograph on there if you want to or some more writing and then we've got a little um, journaling card so I like that so let's go into the second um, pages I'm just gonna move my big big book out of the way um so on here I'm wanting to do a big pocket so I'm thinking of having it so that we have that there that's a big side pocket so yeah let's do that um okay I, I think I'm gonna have it to smaller than the page itself yeah perfect right um and then I'm going to grab my hole punch for this one and this is going to have a thumb hole in it okay and I'm definitely going to have that green colour because that green is gorgeous that just blends in a bit too well okay so that's going to go all the way there I'll turn that round and then we're just going to stick that on okay like so make sure all of that is nice um, I like that I'm going to use this for decoration so I'm just going to pop in a banner now do I want it that side which I like or that side which I love so I think I've just answered my question so even like these little tiny uh, bits of scraps you know we can still use them you just use them as decoration um, so yeah there we go and then let's bring in our big book of stuff and see what we have. Um, oh, look at that. Opened it up straight away. And look what we've got. The perfect butterfly. So I'm going to use that. And we're going to have that just up there like that. Yeah, love that. And then I do need a journaling card or something in it. And I think I'm going to make that into one. Um that is one side we have got let me move this big book again we've got these um so let me grab we've also got that i can turn into a journaling card so i'm just going to cut this down okay um right yeah just gonna I, I want to still keep some of that edge so on the back of here I'm just gonna put that on there just to, yeah um, but I want to keep it quite flat because I want whoever receives this I would like it to have be able to add their own sort of bits and pieces um, and it not be too chunky already when they get it um, right where did we put there are some there they are and then on the back we can pop on our little yeah card so I'm going to do that and I'm going to have that in the center as best as I can okay and there we have it right I am going to round the corners of this as well I just think on a journaling card round corners are just so much nicer so yeah we're going to do that and this one and there normal is boring and I couldn't agree more so then that's just going to slide into that book right I am going to try I've just noticed we're about and now we're in guys so no about 40 minutes in I want to say um if I remember rightly from the last one so I'm not going to do much I'm going to um I actually like the idea of because we've got two of those normal is boring of having it as a tuck spot so let's cut this one out as well um, and let's create that as a tuck spot on that page okay so that's going to go along there that's going to go up there and then we have that which can be which, yeah um, although hmm, maybe Let's do this one. 
I'm just going to sort of make it up. It's about six and a half inches. Oh, I like it that way. So that's going to be, yeah, right, okay, I'm liking that. Let's run the, these corners again. Um, okay. Like I said, I think journaling cards, um, yeah, I don't know, they just seem to be so much nicer. Oh, that's perfect, right. And then on the back, we can have one of these. So let's glue that on. And then I'm thinking a sticker for inside of it, like on there somewhere. So, um, Let's see what we have that could sort of look really pretty. Oh, that, that's going to have to go in the book. That just looks gorgeous. Um, let's have a look. We must have some, Oh, we've got some flowers there. Hmm. Um, some shells. I don't think they would go. Just sort of trying to see if there's just, you know, just something that sort of pops out to me. Um, no idea what it is but yeah perfect right and it's ink for the front and you know what I know it sounds oh cat no I don't think it's gonna go it's gonna do that but a big balloon I think the balloon would look gorgeous but yeah it's one of those where I, well I, I know it wouldn't have gone um I just wanted to do it because it looked I thought it was gonna look amazing but it's not exactly gonna be something that goes on this page however oh this is going to look amazing if we can get it out without tearing every little bit of it like I'm doing. Oh, this is terrible. There we go. So this is going to go on instead. So again, it we're keeping it flat, so that's really, really good. Right, I just need to trim around the edges of this. Okay. So, like that, just check in my time. Because um, I also have to be wary, because I haven't got many hours left on my memory card as well. Actually, I've only got about two hours left on, so I've got to be so careful. Um, right, so that's the next lot of pages. So I think because I've run you through um, these two pages, the more or less going to be the same. What we're going to do is we're going to put it on fast forward now. So the next bit that I do will be speed up and then I'll sort of put some music and stuff on and then we'll come back, have a flip through and yeah, we'll go from there. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the next bit. Okay, so I am back. Um, I was going to glue this down, use my glue gun, but I don't know if you can sort of see. <laughs> this is just absolutely covered because um, yes, I'm hoping that what I've used um, already, like what the glue that I've used, my uh, Tonic Studios Nouveau glue, I'm hoping that that um, has been enough to keep it adhered and I think it will be because it is quite a good glue. Um, so let's have a look, that one might fall off as we're going through the album but it's all finished, all decorated and I have to say it's gorgeous, I love it. I love these little rosettes that we made. We made these quite a while ago, actually. This was silver, but I didn't like it because this was gold. And I think with the craft card stock, gold went better. So I just went over the top with a little bit of my Gildan Wax just to change that. You can still see a bit of the silver, but actually I quite like that. I think it looks lovely. So on the front cover, it just says, let your dreams be your wings. So absolutely beautiful. Didn't do much to it. Didn't think it needed much to it. So on our first page, we have a pocket. So we did these pages together. Together. Um, we've got our writing page so we've got this bit with a bit of writing on it and then we did this page as well so we've got a little tuck spot there and then we've got a pocket there now the rest of it so that's the other pocket I think I've just knocked that I just want to make actually that's stuck yeah that one I'm going to go on with my glue gun um, when I finished here um, so we did these together so the other pages are let's run through them so this one is it's got a little tag um, and a tag pocket there and a place to write um, I've also done this one where it's a flap up so you, you can put some secret writing in and again um, somewhere to write and I've just used a circle punch just to punch out a circle um, so that it keeps that held down this one, I love this page. This page has got a little book on it. 
um, and what I did is they're all four by four I scored the top one at a quarter of an inch um, and went up one eighth of an inch to all of them so that um, it would open quite nicely this one's got a side pocket um, and again a little journaling card in there as well um, opening up this we've got um, a space where we can write that actually doubles up as a pocket um, and then we've got a pocket here with a long journaling card in so not much going on there but I think it's beautiful as is um, so yeah this one is like a mini waterfall so that comes up and then when you open it up we've got all of these as well so um, I thought it'd be a good place for um, to pop on some photographs and then on the other side we do have some writing space this one I wanted to use some of those uh, stickers so it says happy um, and then we've got um, two white journaling cards um, and pockets so very very uh, simple next one again a simple again but just a different layout out we've got two um, journaling cards more or less the same um, with matching pockets and matching um, bits to write in and then the very last set of page is a belly bands um, and I saw these hands had to use them I just thought so this one's quite a busy busy page but I really like it and then inside each belly band and we have this journaling card that has a little pocket on it with another little journaling card in and then on the back we have somewhere that we can write so that is it and then on the back it's just um nice and plain so yeah I had a feeling that was going to come off let's see if my glue gun's um all heated up I do hope so I think it is so because of the fact that I've just took that bit of glue off and it's stuck to my finger so I'm just gonna pop on some hot glue um so it's gonna be sort of held on with the glue and then when that nouveau glue dries that'll be permanently um done I did want to use my Fabri-Tac but my Fabri-Tac's actually um I can't get the lid off so and husband isn't in and I really wanted this finish how gorgeous does that look and then we've got this little rosette on the side I'm wishing that was um a bit bigger than what it is that glue inside there I don't know if you can see um it will dry clear so you won't see that but um so yeah I ha I did bring in this gorgeous as quite um antiquarian sticker book I think that's how you say it um, and I'm just wondering whether to put a sticker just on the spine maybe of some flowers um, and it's absolutely it's a beautiful beautiful sticker book so pleased with it oh absolutely love it I did buy it off our lovely um, oh Laura from the stationery and stuff and I've been hoarding it I bought it off of quite a while ago but I've been hoarding it and I just keep thinking stop hoarding because at the end of the day use it and then when you've run out buy another one so that's what I'm going to do I'm just putting some extra glue on this sticker so just like that um, okay oh, on that bit a little bit more glue on come on okay so there's that bit and then I need some glue on this bit as well just so that it glue is going over because I really don't want to cut it um, I just think it might look a bit naff if I cut it so yeah although I could have just picked a sticker that fit couldn't I yes Dawn you could have done right okay so leave that for a bit um to settle hello that that glue does dry quite quickly so it's all good so i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you've enjoyed seeing the whole process um so i know the last lot of pages were put on the speed up but um as you can see it was a long process but i think my books turned out very beautifully um i absolutely love it i just love this spine i love that absolutely gorgeous so thank you so much for joining me and spending your time with me hopefully you guys have been crafting along too and making something yourself um and yeah i will be back again in another video very soon but until then please do all take care and happy crafting bye <laughs>